How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Two Laugh Thumbs. My name's Graham, and today I'm looking at Adventure Time Card Wars Kingdom. Hey Jake, it's me, Jake. Oh, King Jake. Look at your cute little mustache. For those of you who don't know, my first impressions is where I just play through a game for about half an hour and I chop it up to kind of show my first thoughts and reactions to things. I'll admit I'd never played the original Card Wars game, but I do love Adventure Time and was pretty excited about checking this one out. Whoa, man. Am I dreaming you right now or are you dreaming me? What, is the, what does that mean, Jake? That's confusing. Man, I'm you from the Card Wars Kingdom. Oh, we're just playing, playing each other. Not everyone does. I hope this is as absurd as the Card Wars episode where you're growing like corn and flooping pigs and stuff. I want to be the cool guy. Bimo's a he? How did I never know that before? These honeys here are your cards. You'll always draw a few random cards when you start the game. Tap the card to take a closer look. Now tap on the words. This biz is important. <laughs> the Abrica Amidus? Friendly creature does a magic attack. You can always find out about special moves and powers by tapping the card. There are many different creature elements in card wars. Well, everybody knows that. Like blue plains, sandy lands, useless swamp, nice lands, high personal fades, <laughs> corn! Corn! Speaking of corn, corn creatures have high attack points. They do a ton of damage with dragons. There's like, it's not just like husk knights. There's like a whole bunch of corn-based enemies. And there's like a corn archer here. And this guy's got like scythes and stuff. These guys must be corn-based uh, monsters. Drag attack is just what it sounds like. <laughs> Use your favorite finger to drag from your creature onto one of my creatures. You'll attack and spend some of your energy. Fuck up his pig. Every time you do a drag attack, you get a new card. Ooh. Cards allow you to cast spells, use abilities, and trigger larger attacks way better than drag attacks alone. Each creature has its own set of cards. When you attack with a creature, you'll draw one of its cards. So he automatically drew a corn card because he was a corn creature? Where's my energy? Where I oh over here, the five. I gotcha. Go! Opponent turn. What are you gonna do, King Jake? Oh no, my corn archer! Oh he took him out! No! Archer Dan! Archer <laughs> Dan! My favorite part of Adventure Time is all the made up words like skronk and donk and all that shit. Each turn your energy is refilled and grows by one, up to a max of ten. Oh, I was wondering why it was six this time. The cool cool dog card? Oh, he's got cool laser eyes. Yeah, fuck up the pig. Don't tell me what to do. Friendly creature does a magic attack. Oh, look at him just rolling around on the ground there. This game is everything I hoped it could be. I feel like I'm literally just playing that episode of the game. How do I... Is... I just... Oh, I just click him. Oh my god, he used his laser vision! You scored a critical hit! Crits do one and a half times more damage. Uh, can I... Should I do something else? What's this naked little dude doing? Oh my god, oh no! My guy, they messed him up big time! 
King Jake, you're a jerk. Well, I want to kill... Let me kill the pig. I want to kill the pig. Oh, it automatically made me attack the other one. Bubby's Lament. Friendly creature does an area magic attack. Okay, so he's going to attack both of them? Boom! Laser cool dog is the best. Why did he attack both of them? That was awesome. Do you just win when all their creatures is, are dead? Is that how the the game ends? Is that like the main goal? Now I'm King Jake and you're regular Jake. Oh yeah, it looks like I have some sort of amount of lives. Probably probably something that like refills over time, typical microtransaction type shit. Each one focused on a different element. All the elements have different play styles. Let me show you. Oh yeah, I guess I get my first deck now. There are lots of different challenges to face in the arena. Each challenger will face you in a series of battles. Oh yeah, so when I take on Jake, we're gonna have two battles. Oh, and it'll cost me one heart to battle him? Hmm. Corn team. Corn teams are heavy hitters. They will crush your opponents with massive drag attacks. This is a blue plains team. Their cards allow them to leech energy and devastate enemies with magic attacks. This team is from the Nice Lands. Nice Land creatures specialize in outlasting their foes through healing and beneficial buffs from their teammates. Mm, I don't want to be a Nice Land team, or. Blue Plains could be interesting. Of course I'm gonna be a corn team. Why would I, why would I be anything other than a corn team? Oh man, this game is like really well done. I love watching the the board come to life and everything. It just all feels so much like the the original episode that all this spawns from. The deploy phase. Good to know. Did I even draw any creatures? Am I totally fucked? Third wind. Hmm. Oh, oh, these are my creatures over here. I see. Corn worm. I don't think I want a corn worm. So it seems like one particular creature has specific things that can be used with him. Like, uh, so this is the corn worm. The corn wall has a different set of things that can be used with it. There's also the corn eyed bat and corn ball. Ooh, yeah, let's play the corn ball. He sounds like a cool enemy. A cool enemy for cool guys. Oh, it's like one of those Medusa heads. What did he play? Can I click on his guy? The soft eyeling. You. Well. Let's see, do I have any of those that I could pair with him? I have the popcorn thing. 50% attack up for each friendly creature on the board. Nah. Cornlands though. I want to play Cornlands and make everything corn. Oh, I don't have enough energy. I just got how that worked. All right, well, what if I use a bullseye? Looks like you picked up a status effect. Tap the creature to check it out. Status effects can help your creatures or junk up your opponents in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> junk up your opponents. All right, so now bullseye. Next attack is a guaranteed critical hit. Stacks increase amount of guaranteed critical hits. Okay, right, so I can use that more than once. Oh, it's three for a drag attack. I just got how that worked. Oh, I totally misunderstood how I was supposed to be making use of energy. All right, shit, well, I hope he doesn't kill my cornball on this turn. Oh, maybe I should have played a second monster. Shit. Oh, now he's got a bullseye. Oh, well, I for sure gotta try and take that guy out then. The Man of War Elf. Yeah, I want to take him out if I can. Ooh, I better use all my drag attack, though. I only have three energy, so I might as well, I better go for it. I might as well... Oh, I'm not going to do a lot of damage. It shows you how much damage you're going to do, I think. All right, we'll try... We'll, we'll see how that goes. 
Ah, uh, the cornball is kind of shitty. That was a critical hit and everything. Ah, uh, well, that's all I can do on my turn. I have two corn lands things. That's not that helpful. Oh, no. Oh, God, he's going to have... He didn't attack with bulls, guys? Oh, he must have ran out of energy. All right, uh, maybe I'll get a corn... Corn wall. Sounds like a really dumpy enemy, but I guess I'm going to throw him up there anyways. I guess uh, my corn ball has more damage, so I'm going to use him. And, oh my god, I don't want any more corn lands. At least I can make it. I can make it a cornfield on my next turn. Oh, but now he's got a corn monster. What did he just do? Oh, he doesn't. He won't get to draw a card next turn, I think. Now what did he play? Attack up, increase attack. Oh no! Oh, come on! I think I gotta, I gotta make a cornfield here. But, oh, but I also want to try and take out one of his guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play the cornfield, cornlands, I guess. Oh, it only affected the one guy. I, why isn't why isn't everything corn now? I thought I'm like trying to think back to that episode of the show. I thought it made everything corn. Oh no! What a waste of a corn land. Oh now my corn wall is gonna take a beating. The way that you get more energy per turn is kind of a nice system. Things things like build up and escalate. You can only do like very little on your first turn, but it quickly becomes more. All right, well, both of them can attack, so I better try and take out the Man of War Elf first. Perfect. The last Kung Fu manual, 100% attack up. Ooh. All right, well, I'll use that next time, and I'll try and take out this corn dog. I didn't actually look to see if that's what he's called. I assume it is. Yeah, the corn dog. That's awesome. <laughs> little bitch he attacked twice oh and he got he's he gets a he gets a card every time he attacks oh no that wasn't very good for me all right 100% attack up that's what I want let's see can I play it on my bat oh wait he's gonna have crazy attack up now and hmm uh, I can't. I, I'll save my corn lands. I can take out the corn dog though. Perfect. Oh, so many corn lands. I don't want all this corn lands. But I can start taking out the soft eyeball guy. <laughs> Watching the wall attack is really stupid. <laughs> it's pretty funny. If you don't use all your energy on a previous turn, does it roll over? I haven't been paying attention to that. I think it doesn't. What are you doing over there, King Jake? Oh, he's making me weak. He's all oh, my attacks are going down. Oh, weak attacks. Oh, good thing that guy does like no damage. Oh, but he gets to attack several times. He must have like a special ability or something. Attack down for four turns. Decrease damage done. Stacks increase number of turns. Effect is active. Well, I am going to play the corn lands on my bat to boost him back up. I, I'll, I'll look at its uh, effects here. Cornfields, drag attacks hit two times, but this creature can no longer draw cards. A creature can only have one landscape at a time. That's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be like a big damage and health boost or something. Like, kind of how I think Yu-Gi-Oh worked. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my power. I thought I was going to be able to play that and still attack. Oh, shit. Jake's floop. Oh, no, area attack, he's gonna... Oh, wait, that's me. Where's my hero meter? I don't know what... Oh, down at the bottom there. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's me. That's I, I got that. Jake's Floop. 75% attack up and haste for three turns. Area, hits creatures around target. So this card is pretty awesome. So I'll hit multiple enemies, I'll do more damage, and things take less energy. Well, I have to save it for next turn, I guess. Man, my deck is so 
Oh, weak attacks again. Just how many times are you gonna play that one, Jake? Make everyone do as little damage as possible? Are you all out of creatures? Cause I still got I still got a worm in the in the hole here. Quit that shit. <laughs> I really I really gotta take this guy down now. I think he attacks twice though, doesn't he? Cause he's on the cornfield. Awesome. Suck it, Jake. Suck it, King Jake. Yeah, damn straight. One creature lost. Three stars. Ooh, rank two. And I got some gold. What a great battle. Ooh, maximum hearts. Okay, that's cool. I don't really know how team power works, but having more hearts is good. You can do more battles. Doo-doo-doo. I got more weight? Is that what that was? There's like a little dumbbell. Team unlocked. I don't know what that is. Also unlocks the tree fort. That's where you could add new creatures to your team. Oh, cool. And there's also a mission running right now. Ah, oh, just let me check the mission. Take a look at the decks I showed you earlier. Choose the deck you want to play with, and it will be yours to keep. If you need more information, you can tap on the creatures to see more Oh, so now I just have to choose one of these teams. And you can place more stuff in your deck based on this weight thing. So now now I can play more cards in my deck now that I have that. I don't want the nice land stuff. They seem dumb. I'm going to I'm going to stick with the corn deck. How do I how do I select it? How do I confirm I want the corn deck? Holy shit, you can level up your characters? Is that what I'm seeing here? Current stats versus max stats? Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Did I... I didn't level up my bat or anything? I don't know how you level up then. He was the one who was doing all my killing and he still didn't level up. Jake, age almost 40. 40 years old? Height, it depends. Weight, a little pudgy. Species dog. It's good to be king. Okay, I, I want this deck. How do I select this deck? Ooh, this is a boss. All right, let's see how a boss round's gonna go. Everything I can this battle to take you down. So prepare yourself for some real card wars action. Oh, he's playing. He's uh, he's playing with corn people now. So maybe I should try something different. Oh no, I'm stuck with corn. I I must have had to have chose back at the treehouse. Some excellent corn on corn action, making for a thrilling card wars battle. What's that jumped around over there? There's a little squirrel. Me first. Alright, I don't want to play my bat right away because I don't want him to be too vulnerable. Aggressive growth. Uh, creature gets 50% attack up if you played another card this turn. Also gets bullseye. Oh, awesome. Well... I'm gonna play the corn ball first again. Oh, he's pretty strong, but I like the corn eyed bat first. Or I, I like the corn eyed bat better, so I want I want him to be my go to if something were to happen to this guy. Ah, he's just got like the exact same cards as me. I'm glad I didn't play the worm. Hmm, increase attack. Alright, well now I gotta go on the offensive here. Take out that worm with the bonus attack. Oh, it can do a lot of damage. Yeah, I definitely try and take out that worm. Maybe I should be playing my worm. What? What is that beast? I want that. The Husker Giant? Oh man, I don't have anything cool like that. I can't even quite attack with both of them. Hmm, what can I do though? I can't use much of my cards right now, so I guess I just gotta keep going after this worm. God, okay, well next next turn I should have five, and so I should be able to do a little bit of something attack with two enemies at least, or play some sort of card as well as attack. 
Oh wait, well now I should be able to boost my attack and then polish off, polish off the worm. I might have been able, to, I should check to see if I could do it even before boosting my attack. But I wanted to make sure, truly make sure he was done for. Man, I sure do have a lot of the same cards over and over again. Wait, can I see which cards are coming up next for me? Oh, is, is it showing me what's been played last? That's what it is. That's just the last thing played, so if I kind of missed it, I can go back and look. That's really helpful, actually. I like that it has that. Oh, okay, so, because aggressive growth makes me do better if something else has been played, I'm going to play my Kung Fu Manual, and then my aggressive growth. Oh, yeah. And now, I'm going to wipe you out. Ooh. Yeah, let's take out the giant first, because I'm a little bit scared of him. He doesn't have a lot of damage, though, and I don't know what the 145 versus the 117 is. Hmm. And this guy has an attack boost. Oh, but that'll only be for... I'll, I'm taking out the giant. I don't like the giant. He's going to be able to attack twice because he's got a cornfield. I don't want to have to deal with that. Oh, yep. Yep, definitely glad I tried to focus on taking him down, because he's definitely about to fuck me up. Let's get the let's get the worm out on the field. I like the bat, but the worm was actually kind of cool after all. Does more the more guys I have on the field. And let's take out the Husker Giant. Bing bang boom, King Jake, you suck. Oh, cool. Is this only going to be something that benefits me for this particular game? Or, or will that be something I get to look at like later on outside of battle? It looks like it'll be an outside of battle thing, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, I'm all done. That's all I can do. Jake, you're done for, bud. You only got the one monster left. Oh, nuts. <laughs> oh, and you got to attack twice? Okay, well, I'm gonna super boost the worm, and then, and then you can suck it, because there's nothing you can do to stop me after that shiz. Oh, you're done! Ooh, big damage there. Oh, that's their health. I should have realized those numbers are their health. I'm stupid for not noticing that before. Oh, you mad now, Cake? You mad now, Jake? Oh yeah, let's see what, uh, I leveled up again, all that loot, and I got this chest I get to check out. Ooh, I'm excited, what's it gonna be? Slice of corn cake, mmm. Your creatures are gonna love that. I'll show you how to use it later. Cool. You just get, you can just win cards sometimes by playing, that's neat. Well, I wanna go check out my new card. Hopefully this is kind of done the tutorial phase and it will let me kind of freely go and do things finally. Treasure cave unlocked. This is the treasure cave. It's where you'll get most of your creatures. I've given you some gems for your first chest bowl. Let's see what you can loot. Hmm, premium, highest chance for rare creatures. What are, what are some of the other options? I am stuck doing this one, I guess. I guess I'll just open open up this chest then. This is the one it seems to be making, making me do. And it is a Husker Knight. I think I got like a super lame enemy. Oh, and did I get all this shit too? Underdogs. Frenzy Ring. Haste, was haste do? Drag attacks cost one less, okay. Genie's Wish, counter attack. And BFFs, aw, creatures get 50% attack up if you've deployed a creature this turn, get 100% attack up. Cool, cool. Well, that was overall a relatively lame chest. I suppose for my freebie chest, it wasn't going to give me anything great. Wow, that's one dope creature. Let's go to the tree fort and add that new one to your team. Oh, okay, hey, now I can drag. Hey, tap this button right here. You'll get this creature's stats. Oh, hey, okay, look at his different stats. Coolio. And, and 
And there we go. There's my fifth creature. Apparently, you're only allowed the five. Hey, look! The store is open. I don't want to go to the store, Jake. I'm not, I'm not gonna buy anything, so leave me alone. Here, you can buy more gems for the treasure cave, refill your hearts, expand your inventory, and more. Pretty typical microtransaction type shit. I don't actually care. I'm sure things cost way more than they should. So, to hell with it. Not doing it. Now that your team is ready to go, start playing through the leagues and fight for glory in the Card Wars Kingdom. Hey, I'm allowed to fight uh fight Finn now. I wonder I wonder how much further this goes beyond these five people. Oh, it totally That's as far as it goes. <laughs> There's not a ton, but then I think you can start playing uh, other people, not just not just the in-game battles. I can finally take a look at what my missions are. Win one battle uh, in your highest unlocked battle line. So I get a hundred wishbones, whatever those are used for. Okay, so there's daily things you can try and do. I unlocked that cake. Don't know what the cake is for yet. Ooh, do ten critical hits. Hey, look at that. I got me some gems. From quests. Earn, earn ten stars from quests and dungeons? I have no idea what that is, but that's something I'll keep an eye out for. I suppose that's what these different areas eventually are going to be, like, uh, closed until rank 10, closed until rank 7. There's all these different areas I can eventually go to, I just, uh, that's cool that you get to explore a little bit more the more you play, you get to see more of the Adventure Time world. I'm going to go take a peek at the treasure cave here. Uh, what else can I, hey, a freebie. Come back daily for a free creature. Score! Yeah, I'll take a free daily creature. <laughs> a cornball. Well, nuts, I already have that. And then, I assume it comes with all of these? That's what this means, right? A bunch of shit that I pretty much already have. Cool. <laughs> well, that's nice. I like that a game is willing to give you something free now and again. Uh, these, which don't cost too much. Oh, a bunch of cakes. Spend gems to get delicious cake. And standard, ooh, this one costs wishbones, and I have a hundred wishbones, so I'm gonna go ahead and open one more guy while I'm here. Herculi, and also a bunch of other things that are, uh, stuff. Oh, whoops, I accidentally closed it. Nuts, I didn't get a chance to look at the other stuff. My deck is becoming so big, guys. Such a big, hard deck. All the ladies are gonna want my deck. Hercule, I just want to see. Ah, oh, he's a swamp. He's a swamp guy. Oh, and maybe I didn't actually get these cards. It was just telling me these are the cards that go with Hercule. Oh, wait. I don't actually have those other cards. I get it now. Can I, like, sell? Can I sell or something? Since I, I don't really have any need for that guy now. Still don't know how to level up. Maybe, maybe Cake will eventually let me level up creatures. Anyways guys, that's my first little look at Card Wars Kingdom. Like I said, I never played the original one, so I don't really know how much this builds off that original format. Overall, it seems like a pretty basic deck building game. Uh, I'm interested, mostly because I really do like Adventure Time, and it's just kind of goofy, you're playing with like corn heroes and stuff. That whole aspect of it, just silliness, has me interested. I don't play a lot of card games, I don't really play like Hearthstone or anything like that. But I can say I'm at least interested, so I imagine I'll be playing through a few more levels of it just to kind of get an idea. I, I, card games don't have a lot of staying power in my mind. It's not something that I, I want to commit an absurd amount of time to because I don't want to spend the money on the microtransactions. And so going into this, everyone should be aware of that, that I'm assuming it'll be a pretty good grind to get your deck up to somewhere where it, it would be something you would actually truly be happy with. And if you don't want to spend the money on the microtransactions, then this game probably isn't isn't the right thing for you. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm pretty excited about being able to play phone games now. That's new. Haven't been able to do that before, so that's pretty cool. I, I'm hoping to show off more of that, some of that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you again soon. And I should say, if you want me to look at this game a little bit further or provide maybe a proper review of it instead of just a first impression, let me know. I'd be happy to do something like that.